I've got games, so many games, I don't know what to do with all these games. And if you just want to chat, let's talk in bits and bites, cause I'm down like that. When I'm at the Goodwills, or when I'm checking Craigslist, all I'm thinking about is my NES. It's just something I do, it's like the passing the time. Without further ado, let's end this rhyme. Hey everybody, it's me, Justin, aka Google Hunter, and I'm back with another pickup slash uh, package that I got from Mr. Dude206's 200 subscriber contest. And uh, I picked up a couple other things from the video game trader, and one uh, pickup from A Goodwill, which was kind of random. So I went to the video game trader, well actually I went to the Goodwill. I went to a Goodwill that's uh, usually one of my routes. Uh, I hit up the Valley Village, and then I go across the street to the Goodwill, and then I round it uh, out with going to the Video Game Trader because he's on the way back. So I went to the Goodwill, and I found one Super Nintendo game, and I already own it, but it's um, it's not bad. It's not a bad game, and it's, uh, I don't know, I think it's uncommon, uh, at least on the open. Uh, it's very dirty, so I'm going to have to clean this guy up, but... It spawned the video game for the Super Nintendo, and uh, it's actually pretty fun. Um, a lot of different special moves that Spawn uses, and uh, it's that whole, you know, Tom McFarlane universe with, uh, you know, Violator and uh, all the other uh, Spawn, and Malvolgia. Yeah, so the label's a little scuffed up, but uh, I'll clean it up and uh, trade it, I guess. It's only five bucks. Which, yeah, I mean, it's five bucks, but, you know, with the Googles around here, that's what they charge, flat rate, any game, any condition, five bucks. Um, I have had some success with Nintendo games, where at one Goodwill, they were pricing them for like a buck twenty-five, so. Not very common, but when I do find some Nintendo games, especially that one, I think it's well worth five dollars. And then I went up to the uh, video game trader, and I picked up a couple more. Uh, PC Engine games, um, I know he had a couple in the case, and I didn't notice that he had a Splatterhouse um, for the Turbo Graphics, but it was only the cart, and, or the card, I should say, the cue card, and he wanted like $37 for it, which, um, no. If I'm going to get Splatterhouse, either on the PC Engine or Turbo Graphics, it will be complete, and they typically go for 30 to 40 complete, so... Yeah, uh, I, I just don't get his prices sometimes, but, you know, where else am I going to find, or, what other store can I walk into and find PC Engine and TurboGrafx cards, and complete? You just don't find them, so luckily I have a store like that, but, again, I have to kind of be really uh, picky when it comes to picking the games up. But the first game I had saw that I knew I wanted to get, um, I loved it on the Super Nintendo, this is pretty much the arcade version. The one on Super Nintendo isn't, isn't like the arcade, um, but uh, yeah, I had to pick it up when I saw it there. I wasn't sure, so I had to go online and make sure that you know it was in fact the one that I had known, but yes, uh, if you'd seen the arcade, it had three screens. This thing was crazy. Uh, but I picked up the Ninja Warriors for the PC Engine. Uh, pretty much you are a cyborg ninja and this evil dictator has kind of overthrown the entire country and you're sent in to, uh, to remove him. Um, the one on the Super Nintendo is a typical beat-em-up. Um, this one kind of plays almost like uh, it is a beat-em-up too. Uh, I'll show some gameplay. Uh, but it kind of reminds me of like Shinobi or um, like Rolling Thunder where it's kind of linear and you can jump, but you really have limited weapons and limited uh, kind of attacks. Uh, really, you can only use your, uh, I think you use kunai, kunai, your shuriken, and that's about it. You pretty much just slice people's throats. Um, and I haven't really played too much of the uh, of it. I've, I've played it a couple times, and I'd have to say it's pretty freaking hard. Um, I can get pretty far. I don't even know like when it, it ends, but I always seem to get to this one point where I get shot and uh, my robot cyborg ninja explodes. And the other one I picked up, <clears throat> I don't know why I hadn't picked it up earlier, so I, it had been there, and I thought maybe it was like a racing game, but you know, once I saw that it actually has the, uh, the name in English on the front, I don't know why I didn't pick it up earlier, 
but it's uh, Tato's, uh, or Taito's uh, Chase HQ. You pretty much play as a, um, like a detective or a police, uh, and you're tasked with, you know, pulling over a specific car by ramming it into uh, the wall or just damaging it until it's incapacitated. It's a fun game. Um, it was, I believe, an arcade port, and I think they had it for the Super Nintendo. I'm pretty sure they did. I think they called it uh, Super Chase HQ. Complete manual and card. And, you know, I don't want to pick up the PC Engine games because at least those are always complete. Now, trying to find a complete uh, Turbo Graphics game is, I don't know why it's so hard for people to keep the case and the manual, but whatever. Um, but then, he was helping someone else out, so I had a, uh, a chance to walk around. And I went to the far back uh, corner where he has kind of a... Uh, you know, one of the more rare systems, you know, he's got like a Virtual Boy, um, um, what else? A couple other box games, but I saw that he's been getting some uh, Neo Geo AES stuff in. And, you know, I saw uh, a couple uh, games that really, uh, well, I, he had a couple MVS cards. He had Metal Slug 2, Metal Slug, and Metal Slug X. All loose. And um, behind that, he had this. Now, the MDS carts don't come like this. Uh, they come in just a cardboard box. Um, if I had my other one, I'd show you. They're, I mean, because they were just, they went to distributors and they just put them into the, the, uh, the cabinets. They didn't care, you know, it came in something like this. So I thought this was an AES uh, cart, um, but then I remembered that these are reproduction shock boxes. Um, the label was printed off. It looks pretty good, um, but you know he said that some of these were MBS cards. So sure enough, I opened it up, and it is the King of Fighters '98 MBS, and uh, it even came with. even came with the marquee for it and in a nice little you know shock box um, so he had a couple other ones I, I'm thinking about picking up he had King of the Fighters 95 Samurai Showdown 2 and I asked him about the metal slugs um, the day after I called the store I talked to one of the other owners and he said he was gonna find prices for me um, and he was gonna you know text them to me, because I, I know that game, Metal Slug X and, and 2, and, the, and actually the entire series can go for anywhere between, you know, 50 to 100 to even 140 just for the cart. Um, so I wanted to know what the prices were. Typically, I went to what I usually do, I go on eBay and see what it's going for. I know it, yeah, it's eBay, and those are just auction prices for what people think they can get. Um, but I had some luck, actually. I, I typed in uh, Metal Slug X, and sure enough, I found a bunch of guys selling it for 128 But I found one guy in Taiwan selling it for $40. With $10 shipping, I bought it right then and there. He also had... Uh, there was another seller that was that had one through six. I think he was asking uh, $280, which, that's a really good deal. Um, I tempted to get more of the Metal Slug series, but if I ultimately get a um, one of those 150 in one carts, the MBS, I don't know if I'll actually uh, buy any anymore. I mean, because obviously I'll have them all in that one cart. But I thought it was pretty cool, you know, that it came in the shock box with the artwork, you know, and uh, yeah, it's awesome. Uh, I'm really excited because I have, I don't have a King of the Fighters, and uh, I think 98 was, they have a lot, you know, 38 different fighters, um, plays really well, 683 meg, that's great, but, you know, package time, so let's see this sucker, see how it plays, now, I already know, for all of you who, uh, watched 
drawing or participated in the contest. Uh, the uh, grand prize was a Xbox, an original Xbox, uh, which I believe he told me that uh, he had already put the custom firmware on it. So it's running Xbox Media Center, I believe. And let's see. We have a note. Alright, Untitled. That's a very good title. Uh, good Will Hunter, congrats on winning the Xbox and taking part in my contest. Hope this console gets a good home and a lot of playtime. There are a few games on it. Ha ha ha. Well, anyways, take care and keep up the good work on your own channel, man. Signed, Mr. Dude, 206, aka Keith. Peace. Thanks, Keith. I almost didn't know who the package was from. I kind of thought maybe I got drunk one night and randomly bought something from someone on eBay or... Uh, but yeah, no, once I saw that it was from uh, Washington State, I knew that it, uh, it was that. So we got a couple of... Uh, right here. Oh, looks like instructions. So we got... Uh, what do we got? Big ass emulator disc. And Final Burn Alpha, probably one of my favorites um, of the emulators. Um, you know, any of the, uh, uh, what do they have? Uh, a lot of the King of the Fighters, Final Burn Alpha. And looks like a bunch of instructions. Which, you know, I'm a guy, so I'm not going to read this. Um, but that's cool. And what do we got here? We got the power and uh, composite cable. Freaking peanuts, man. I hate peanuts because they get everywhere on everything. Oh, wow. We got the big mama deuce of the Xbox controllers. I don't think I own one of these. Man, I can't believe they made something that huge. It's like freaking even almost as big as a... Uh, Jaguar controller. And let's see if I can't get peanuts everywhere. I think you did that on purpose, Keith. Oh, there we go. Xbox. Um, I really like the Xbox, you know? I think it got, uh, Microsoft did a really good, uh, job with, you know, uh, coming up with their own game system. So kudos to them for that. I don't know about the 360, but who knows? But yeah, Xbox. And it's running, uh, I believe he said, uh, Xbox Media Center. So pretty much, you know, it's like any of the Media Center uh, stuff. You can have, you know, weather, sports. Um, yeah, it's always fun. You know, loaded with games, emulators, and you're good to go. So cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, gonna have to put that into my rotation. Uh, maybe I'll play some Dead or Alive, or um, Dead or Alive Beach Volleyball, or just anything Dead or Alive, because, you know, they got the, the jiggle motion. But uh, anyways, yeah, guys, uh, that was um, um, my latest pickups, uh, I guess you could say. Uh, I still have, uh, I believe, uh, a couple more things coming in the mail. So, um, yeah, as always, guys, you know, like it. Subscribe. Uh, I think it's up top. And uh, as always, uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned.